Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Horizon SMP. And if you can see behind me, we have made some developments since the last episode. I managed to complete my enchanting station and you can see that I've also got a whole bunch of sheep, black sheep actually to be specific. And the reason for the black sheep is because we are going to be participating in a build contest today and we need a lot of black wool in order to build it. Before we get into the main building part of the episode, I just wanted to ask you guys down below in the comments, are you happy with the format of my videos in which I am kind of just cutting and compiling all the best parts of my episodes and putting them all together? So yeah, let me know in the comments if you're happy with my current format or you know, you'd like to see a little bit more of me talking. Yeah. So I've got a little predicament here where two creepers have spawned inside my base and I, I should have seen that coming. I've been trying to light this up as well as I go, but obviously it's probably the center part that's not really filled in properly. Um, I think we can even use these creepers to our benefit maybe. Get them up here. Come on. Come on little baby. Oh fuck. So the mock-up for the build I have created for the building contest. So the theme of the build is dream. But uh, when it comes to dream, what do you associate in Minecraft with dreams? And I'm not even sure how to go about it. So what I did was I took the idea of a nightmare and I've created this dark and demonic tower using a lot of dark oak and oak and stripped oak um, because we have a lot of dark oak and so I wanted to utilize that. And then the one real key interesting thing or concept I had is a lot of dark towers will have a um, thing of leaves wrapping around it and what I thought was instead of doing leaves I will create it with beds so we will have a spiral of black beds going all the way around the tower all the way to the top and I think that'll really uh, give away the whole dream theme and nightmare as well at the same time so this is the tower I'm going to be building for the contest and all I need to do now is figure out exactly how many resources I need in order to build it. So there's a really cool feature on World Edit, and what I can do is I can just select two points that are within region. So we go up here to this point here, and now you can see that the whole build is in region. So let's just go back down to here, and we can do the slash count command. So if we go slash count dark oak logs first for example Oop. dark oak log you have to enter the perfect minecraft value but slash count dark oak log and there we go we require 254 dark oak logs we can do the same thing with strip so count stripped dark oak logs we see we need 98 of those so i'm just going to jot down all the figures i need and that way we can gather all the resources back in our survival world. How good is your reaction time? Oh, there's an one behind me and another one. They just grow randomly. It's like a fun little game. Anyway, I think this should probably be enough to fill up our resources. I'm just going to let them keep on growing. But if we take a look in our chest for resources, you can see that we have got all the black wool that we needed plus a whole bunch of the dark logs as well. And I've got a few extra. Also got some of the black glazed terracotta and hopefully that's enough. That's just gonna be for details and stuff like that. I also need to get some redstone. There'll be quite a few um, redstone torches and redstone. Yeah, I think redstone torches is a good source of light in a dark and you know um, creepy kind of setting. So yeah, and I've got a whole bunch of iron as well, just in order to, you know, if I have to craft extra pickaxes and axes and shovels. But yeah, all these dark ogs should be enough ogs. All these dark logs should be enough resources for me to at least, you know, build the main part of the building. Um, so yeah, let's go take the resources over to the build site, which is in that direction. And it should take me two goes because I don't have any shulker boxes left. Um, or any, sorry, any shulker boxes yet. So yeah, um, I'll be with you in just a minute when we're at the site. 
So this is the allocated plot, and these are the other builds that have already been built. So the competition ends in, I think, one day or two days. I'm not sure because my time is different to their time, but according to them, it finishes in, I think, maybe a day and a half for me. So this is the first build, this is the second build, and this is the third build. Um, the theme of the build is Dream. So I kind of like the look of this one, and I'm hoping that it's still being built. But from the looks of it, I think that... I'm pretty confident with what I have planned and I'm even thinking that it might be a bit overkill to be honest. Um, these are all the resources that I've transported over and I've crafted up. So I've got a lot of dark blocks here and a lot of black wool here as well with a bit of cobblestone to build. So without further ado, let's start building this thing and see how long it takes. We're only like halfway in height so far. And I've already used like the majority of my log resources, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, so I've only got, you know, two and a half stacks left of logs. So I reckon I'm probably going to run out of those. And I don't really know why. But anyway, this is what I've done so halfway. And let's just keep on plowing through it. It's really sunny today where I live, which means that my screen is really bright or really dark I mean sorry well I don't know what, what it, whether it's bright or dark but it means that I really can't see much of what I'm doing because yet yeah, it's dark and everything in my inventory just looks brown so I keep selecting the wrong thing I don't have enough spaces in my inventory to be honest um, so let's just continue doing this pattern over here so oh, it's confusing me now um, like that so is that right? The block next to the... I'm not sure if what I'm doing is even right anymore. Let me just double check. Oh yeah, because I'm looking at the wrong perspective. I'm already getting confused on my own tower. So, I don't know, it might be a bit clearer on YouTube, but yeah, everything in my inventory just looks black and I can't actually see what I'm doing. And back down here, taking a lot of four damage whilst trying to record this. Literally just jumping and going down, jumping and going down. I built a little pool in the middle, but I really need like elytras or feather falling, I think. Yeah, that would be pretty good as well. And you can see now that we are out of stairs and I just placed the wrong block because they look the same. And here, let's just jump down here some more stairs Oop. and have a look at the building yeah it's looking nice even during the daytime it looks really dark as well so let's just do a time lapse actually look how dark it is during the day What? I thought I'd just record the final building stages. It's very interesting when you're building because I find it you know, every time I'm building, I think, and it's daytime, I think to myself, you know, I should probably just record what I'm doing. But I'm not sure. When I'm building, my head's kind of in the zone. I can't really talk and build at the same time. It's very difficult for me. I've, 
got to try and, you know, like, so this build is the core theme of the episode today. How do I stretch it out for 20 minutes? I don't have, I can speed things up, you know, but I don't have the replay mod or anything like that. So I can't do anything really cool in terms of time lapses. And also this area or this biome is a snow biome, which means every now and again, it just cuts, it's, it kind of starts snowing. And I obviously there's nothing I can do about that. One of the other problems I got to fix is, you know, how do I record my videos without capturing the sound of my mouse clicking? I have a stand mic, so it kind of picks up everything on my desk. It's a very good mic, it's the Blue Yeti, but I'm really not sure how to go about reducing the sound my, my mouse makes. You know, all mic, all mouses have a clicker sound. So is it just something I do in post, or do I need to set my microphone up on a stand or something? Yeah, look at that. How cool does that look? Like, it's already a winner. The black thing is just going to be like an extra webam. Yeah, look how like totally good that looks during the night. Oh my god, it's a little zombie. I hate these things. Oh my god. So there we go. That is the entrant for the build. I am feeling very confident with myself and I'm very happy with the result. Let me just go up here and grab a sneaky screenshot or final photo. So there we go. Looking really nice. I do like the black. Looks like people keep visiting the tower to take a sneaky look at it. But yeah, I like the way the black really spirals around. I'm not really too fussed about doing a head up the top or a skull or anything like that because you can't even see it when you're down this low. Same goes with the glass panes. Later on, I'll put the glass panes in, but you know, even when I'm down here, you cannot see it at all. So yeah, that is the build. I think it looks really awesome, as I've said about 16 times. I just can't get enough of it, to be honest.